Most restaurateurs spend a lifetime dreaming about getting a four-star citation in the New York Times. John Novi's Dupuy Canal House in High Falls, New York, earned that distinction after being in business for a mere eight months. This 1797 wood and stone tavern has seen some of America's most innovative cooking, and John Novi has no intention of slowing down. That's pretty amazing, eight months to get four stars. Amazing indeed. And he's self-taught. Yeah, he, th I, I was, mean, figure I that was out. impressed with him. I, <clears throat> I, I was up at the Dupuy Canal House a couple weeks ago. I had Sunday brunch there. So what were you doing up there? Nice. Actually, it was a, a little getaway weekend with the ubiquitous Ah, fishermen. a romantic Driving them work around with the top down, looking at the leaves. Had a good time. Sounds nice. Now, here's what I thought was wonderful about this. Because John, though, he's a self-taught chef. And he said to me, I was talking to him in the kitchen. He says, it's getting easier each year. You know, but in the beginning, he was really teaching himself out of books. He's a tremendous library. Right. This is what I really liked about what I learned that weekend. He grew up in High Falls. And the Dupuy Canal House has been there since the late 1700s, as you just said. When he was a little kid, 11 years old, standing on the corner waiting for the bus to come to go to school, right. he'd look across the street at the Dupuy Canal House, which is totally vacant, weeds growing up. And as a little kid, he thought, somebody ought to do something with that place. Oh, my goodness. And here he is today that, with the yeah. four-star restaurant. And so years and years ago, I think it was well. 1956, 57, he put $5,000 down, bought the place. It took him five years before he could even open it as a restaurant. It's a wonderful story. So that shows you hard work and a serious goal. Focus. That'll hey, do it every time. Indeed, yeah. Well, I'm anxious to take a look at it. I know yeah. you were just there for lunch. I haven't been yet. See what you think. Let's all go together to the Dupuy Canal House in High Falls, New York. This year marks the 25th anniversary of one of the birthplaces of new American cuisine. It's not a Los Angeles hotspot or a trendy Manhattan boat but a 200-year-old tavern in High Falls, New York. The Dupuy Canal House was built in 1797. In 1823, the D&H Canal linking the Hudson and Delaware rivers was built on its doorstep, and business really boomed. In 1968, the building was all but abandoned when a 19-year-old history buff named John Novi decided it was the perfect site for a restaurant. After purchasing the property, Novi took off for Europe to learn the restaurant ropes. As in everyone that I worked for all knew that I had this house in America and that the intention was to open a small little restaurant here. Um, so everybody was very gracious and very helpful. Novi returned to America and his dream house a year later. We opened June 14, 1969. And as you know, August of that year uh, was um, Woodstock. I never had a minute to know what Woodstock was all about. I was too busy with the restaurant. His efforts paid off. Eight months after opening, the Dupuy Canal House was awarded four stars by the New York Times. Acknowledged by his peers as one of the fathers of new American cuisine, the talented chef plans to publish a cookbook illustrating his theory of the evolution of a menu. Here, he cites soup as an example. The cookbook will show how one soup becomes another over a period of months or through the seasons where it goes from a cold soup to a hot soup. Chef Novi's beet watermelon borscht was adapted from a Russian recipe for champagne and ham. It's made with Pellegrino water, apple broth, and sour cream. Appetizers at the Dupuy Canal House run the gamut from salmon gravlax to venison pate with pepper vodka. Chicken tenderloin is packed with crab and coated with red gelatin sauce to make a mock strawberry served here with buffalo mozzarella and yellow tomato. A beef and marlin entree is seasoned with roasted garlic and served with a caramelized onion timbal. Whole lobster is joined by a California sushi roll, and free-range chicken comes with cold coconut udong noodles. The eclectic offerings carry over into dessert, where selections range from an update on an early 1900s Brooklyn Charlotte Russe to pignoli tart, hot fudge chocolate cake, and an almond tort with strega in an edible shot glass. The antiques-filled landmark also houses a museum, art gallery, and cabaret. Wine is available, and a knowledgeable staff is on hand to help you navigate the more unusual menu selections. Like the canals that helped connect a young America to its ever-expanding frontiers, John Novi continues to rewrite history with his groundbreaking approach to modern American cuisine. They use the word eclectic about John Novi, and I can really see the cooking. It looks, it looks beautifully done, 
very interesting food, but definitely eclectic. It's far out. It's like, if, it's, yeah. you could say fusion. I don't know if John would like that term or not. I don't know, but it, it, that's the feeling that I got. This looks like 21st century food to me. That's right. You know? That's actually a very good point, Nina. I, I had this thing, a buffet, which is like a fried pizza with a poached egg on it and lox. Wow. Excellent fresh lox. A, a composed salad that had some of the ingredients were low acid yellow tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella, shredded mm. iceberg, a vinaigrette, radicchio, basil, cranberry relish, pears. You did it all. All, all <laughs> composed, very, very nicely. Did you have any of the mock caviar that he sells there, that he's created himself? No, I didn't. Sounds kind of interesting. He's made with a grain, amaranth, I think it's called, That's right. a kind of a paste that sells for, I think, $7 for an ounce. And it looks a bit like a caviar spread, tastes a lot like it. And Apparently, he's met with great success. I know. I didn't. I heard about it. I didn't try it. I'll I send it. you some for Christmas. Okay, good. Because he actually is going in the mail order business on that. I think. That's right. That's Thank right. You. Now, isn't he called the father of American cooking or new American cooking? I should say. I don't know. I've heard that. I know he's a father for a couple of kids. This is true. <laughs> this is true. But uh, but I, I was impressed with the fact that he's a self-taught chef. I mean, it's, it's yeah. not taking anything away from people going to Very attractive-looking restaurant he's got there. I love the old stone facade and the wonderful beams right next to the canal. It's kind of romantic. You know what one of the waiters told me? They, instead of tablecloths, they have slate shingles, like roofs shingles really? that are your placemats. And the waiter said, he's saved thousands and thousands and thousands no laundering of dollars bills. in laundry bills simply by having those slate things there. Very clever. Yeah. So would you call this a romantic getaway if you're in the Northeast? Well, the whole area, the Hudson Valley, I think is great for romantic driving around, particularly if it's not in the middle of winter, but at this time of the year. You. The <laughs> after we had our brunch, we walked around, did a little antiquing, which is always fun. Yeah. And then took the local route back to the New York Thruway with the top down. It was, it was, yeah, it's a lovely afternoon getaway. It sounds it's about, very pretty. About an hour, and a, it's a solid hour and a half for, out, of, right. out of Manhattan. That's solid, right. An easy hour and a half. Sounds worth it. If you want some eclectic, wonderful food, do try the Dupuy Canal House. They're on Route 13, that's in High Falls, New York. They're at 914-687-7700, open for dinner Thursday through Sunday. He's got to take a few days off. Indeed. And they are open for brunch on Sunday. You might want to try that. Credit cards are accepted, and the four-course prefix dinner is $32. The chef recommends the carrot pasta with ricotta cheese, marlin fish steak, the beef tenderloin larded with roasted garlic and pepper, served with potato croquette and caramelized onion tort on a roasted garlic sauce. That's on tomorrow's TV diners, we're going to sample French cuisine on Martha's Vineyard. We'll brunch in a 50s-style Vermont diner, and we'll cruise the collections of a Carmel, California shrine to auto racing. So be sure to be with us tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.